Good morning, Spread. This little guy, he's going to the vet again. It's going to be his fifth visit to the vet this year. He has some health issues, got cat allergies. He's not excited going to the vet. So we'll see what the vet says. Right, handsome boy? You ready to go, vet? So how have you been doing? Um, he had another, um, another episode, episode uh -huh. last night. Um, we took him off the dry food uh -huh. that had beef. Uh -huh. It was beef fat in it. Uh -huh. So I think that was the main cause since mm -hmm. we recently switched to it about like a month ago. Uh -huh. um, we kept him on the same wet food. Um, mm -hmm. He didn't want to eat the rice or beans uh -huh. or eggs. So we kept him on the same wet food, which uh -huh. has liver. Uh -huh. but I think it's still... So that, issue, that yeah. probably. And even when you go ahead and take off uh, any of the offending ingredients, it does take about uh, two to three months until it gets completely eliminated in the body. Mm -hmm. So, so it won't be a you know an immediate effect. But obviously, the sooner that we do it, the better off we're going to be. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, he's starting to scab and fur starting to grow back in the mm -hmm. eye area. So I know on the list of allergens, um, it says beef and liver. Is it beef mm -hmm. liver or just all types of liver? It, it's, it does not include like pork. It doesn't include chicken. Uh, but anything that would be uh, cow related uh, would, would be considered uh, beef. But, but it's, you know, it's not beef, it's not venison, or because that's also listed separately. Uh, chicken, uh, pork, it's all, lamb is also listed separately. So it would be anything related to an actual cow itself. Uh, but primarily, liver is one of the other things, too, that he's very allergic to in, in beef. So. so just all animal and, liver. <laughs> yes. So when it says liver, just yeah, don't even touch exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, um, so. And then when it says meat byproducts. Uh -huh. And meat byproducts, except because with meat byproducts, that doesn't even specify what it is. Yeah. It actually it just could be just about anything. Okay. So when you can find a diet that does not have any of these ingredients, well, it can be kind of hard because most diets are made with some form of animal protein. Then the other alternative is the one that I was telling you called ZD, mm -hmm. which is hydrolyzed protein. So the difference between that is that they break down the protein into smaller molecules in order to that to, when it gets absorbed through the intestine, the body does not go ahead and produce an allergic reaction to it. Okay. It's a, so it's very unique. And I can give you a, a sample of it today. Okay, uh, yeah. it, it comes in dry only, but... Um, the treats to see if it's okay. He misses dry food so much. Okay, so we saw this, yeah, so it requ requires like a vet prescription uh -huh. to be purchased. Yeah, you can get that from us or I can give you a prescription. Okay. You can get it online too. So we also saw, we went to PetSmart and they mm -hmm. had Royal Cannon. Uh -huh. And it didn't have any of the ingredients. It's like, mm -hmm. um, What's it called? Sensitive diet. I think uh -huh. um, if it doesn't have any of the ingredients, it should be fine. It should be fine, if, as long as it doesn't have any. Also, there's another one, it's only by prescription, made by uh, Blue Buffalo, 
that's also uh, in the same process as this one, where they hydrolyze the protein so that way it won't cause an allergic response to it. Okay, and he's fine with chicken, even though the yeah. levels yeah. were like at yeah, 83? Yeah, so 83 is not, not too high. It has to be anything over uh, 300 to be considered. Yeah, chicken was 83, so that's not too high, but definitely liver, beef, and milk was the number one. Which is where um, you don't get the milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what's EAU stands for? Oh, EAU stands, that's uh, ELISA absorbent units. Okay. And that's a way to go ahead and measure uh, the amount Protein of uh, yeah. antibodies that the body's producing against something that is uh, causing an allergy. Okay. Come on through, Mariana. Let's go ahead and listen to your lungs. Is he off taking the uh, prednisone? And, you know. Yes. Right now, his lungs sound very clear. Okay. Uh, I don't hear any any congestion, but it's kind of like flare-ups that he has in his skin. It's not may not be all the time. Mm -hmm. If one of the things that helps is you know the prednisone for cases like this. It sounds to me from, you know, from the video that I saw that very likely that could be more asthma related than anything, okay. uh, where he might have, you know, besides his uh, food allergies, that it might also go ahead and uh, other things may go ahead and cause uh, those symptoms that he has for him to go ahead and breathe that way. So while he, well, he's on or he was on the prednisone, that might have helped also too as well. Uh, but if he's been having more lately, when was the last day that he actually uh, had his last medication? Uh, she, oh, she only gave it to you for a few days. Four days, days right? Uh -huh. That yeah. was two, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Um, yeah, but I'm giving four, four day, four days because uh, it was just mainly because he was really itchy around his neck area. Uh -huh. So, like, uh, does he need a shot? I, I think we should go ahead and give him an injection because if we go ahead and give him a shot, that can go ahead and uh, help him to just go ahead and heal up what he needs to go ahead and heal up as far as the skin. Because mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the effect of the uh, stopping him from whatever he was allergic to is not going to be immediate. Mm -hmm. So I think giving him an injection plus uh, if he does have any... Uh, another episode of so having asthma like attacks that can definitely go ahead and help them. Okay, yeah. and how long is the injection? The injection lasts for up to a couple of weeks. Okay. So it's a long acting steroid injection. So the good thing about the, uh, the injection is it uh, keeps a high concentration in his body so it doesn't make him want to be very itchy. Mm -hmm. uh, it will sometimes make him want to eat more, drink more water because it is a steroid. Okay. That's definitely one thing we don't want him to buy it and eat too much. Uh, and, uh, but it can go ahead and help him to go ahead and you know, not have a breakdown on the skin as well as control any potential uh, other asthma attacks. Okay. Okay, let me go ahead and give him a shot. God, the fur flying everywhere. Don't need another cat. Okay. Ready? Just go ahead and 